Hi everybody, let's talk about risk assessment, specifically for hot tubs. When doing a risk assessment, uh, obviously the first thing we need to do is recognise what the risks are. The risks identified in Guidance Notes 5 for a uh, location with a bath or a shower are identified as following. Uh, reduced contact resistance due to the skin being wet. Uh, escape restricted, uh, the confines of a bath or a bathroom or a shower cubicle. A good contact with earth, which could be extraneous metalwork as well as exposed uh, conductive metalwork. Also, equipment in a bathroom has to be suitable for its purpose uh, due to the conditions in there, moisture, etc. Section 702 regarding swimming pools have the same uh, risk assessment considerations. An important extra factor to be aware of is also when it comes to a good contact with earth, uh, any possible wet ground surrounding the pool uh, would be another thing to take into consideration. So to recap, the risks associated with hot tubs fall in line with the risks of sections 701 or 702. Uh, and there again, the difference between those is that the added potential of contact with the ground in section 702. For this scenario, where the hot tub is installed in an outbuilding, or similar, uh, we can follow the guidance in 701. In this scenario where the hot tub is installed on wooden decking, uh, the risks are as before. So there again, 701 guidance should be followed. For a hot tub installed directly onto the ground, we've now got the added risk uh, via potentially wet ground. Guidance given in section 702 should now be followed.